Hey everyone, it's Colin from Kegworks. Today we're going to talk about keg couplers. What they do, what they are, and how you can choose the right one for your specific draft setup. All couplers have a few things in common. They basically have the same shape where pressurized CO2 or nitrogen comes in through the side and the beer goes out through the top. They all cover the keg valve with a locking system and have a back lever that engages in the coupler with the keg valve. Of course, there are a few different types of couplers that will fit most kegging systems. A D-System, U.S. Sankey coupler, is used for dispensing the vast majority of North American beers. Think everything from Abita to Yingling, Molson to Corona, and most breweries in between. It's also available in a low-profile or short-handle version for kegs fitting into smaller refrigeration systems where you may not have enough room. An S-System, European Sankey coupler, is used for popular European brews like Amstel Light, Heineken, Pilsner Urquell, and more. The U-System is most commonly used for Guinness, Harp, Smittix, and Magner Cider. The A-System coupler is used for Carlsberg, Eyinger, Franziskaner, and several other notable German beers. The M-System coupler isn't in heavy use, but you'll need it for a few different brews, including Jevjets, Velten, Einbecker, and a few others. The G-System coupler is used by a few noted breweries, including Anchor, who chose the G-System to help distinguish their kegs so they'd be returned without confusion, Fuller's, and Grolsch. So that's it guys, a quick overview of all the keg couplers on the market today. The thing that you really need to remember is that without the right keg coupler for your system, you're not going to pour a drop. To help you remember, check the description below for a link to all the different types of beers and the coupler you'll need to pour it. And then visit kegworks.com to pick up your keg coupler today.